Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth, this is Frizzy Lizzy Stitches, and today I'm going to show you how to use Pattern Keeper on your computer. So you might be wondering, why do I need to use Pattern Keeper on my computer? <laughs> and the answer is for all of those people out there who do not have an Android device. Um, if you don't know already, Pattern Keeper is an application that you can only download from the Google Play uh, App Store, which is only available on Android devices. Um, so there are some people who wanted Pattern Keeper so bad and did not have an Android device that they went out and bought an Android tablet um, specifically for Pattern Keeper. And that's a great solution. However, for me, I was not ready to spend $100 on a tablet uh, to only use this app when I already had an iPad. So this was kind of my solution to be able to still use Pattern Keeper without having to spend uh, another more money on another random device. Um, so this emulator that I'm going to show you, uh, it's called is an Android emulator. So basically, it makes your computer act like an Android tablet, and it you know does everything that you would be able to do on an Android tablet like go to the Google Play Store and download Pattern Keeper. So the actual program that does the emulator is not, uh, does not cost money. Uh, so the only thing you would be paying for is the app itself, Pattern Keeper, um, which I think is like nine or $10. Um, and it's not like a monthly subscription, it's just a one-time uh, purchase. So yeah. Um, I, this has been awesome. Uh, the only downside, I guess, to using Pattern Keeper on a computer instead of a tablet is you are kind of losing a lot of mobility uh, with being able to take Pattern Keeper with you. Um, obviously, you could do this on a desktop or you could do it on a laptop. Um, I personally have mine on a laptop, so I, just, I typically use it at my desk anyway just because it's a little easier um, to have my project laid out and have Pattern Keeper on the computer on the desk. Um, but you definitely um, can try and see what works for you. This is just a good option uh, if you don't want to spend money on another uh, tablet. So before I get into the screen recording and kind of talking deeper into how to, how to make this work, um, I did want to just give a disclaimer that I am not tech support. <laughs> um, I definitely uh, can figure stuff out usually on my own, but um, if you're having technical difficulties trying to make this work, um, I can help you best I can, but uh, at the end of the day, I am not going to be able to um, help you if you have any computer issues um, with your actual machine. Um, all I can help you with is where to find, um, to download the different applications and kind of where to click for certain things. So that's disclaimer number one. Disclaimer number two is that this is not sponsored by Pattern Keeper and this is not sponsored by Bluestacks, which is the Android emulator that I'm gonna show you today. Um, this is just me being a really um, excited cross-stitcher who wants everybody to be able to know that they have this as an option. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for intro stuff. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start screen recording so on my laptop so that you can see all the good stuff that I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this is the Pattern Keeper website. Um, it is patternkeeper.app. I will have that linked in the description. Um, but this is a great resource if you just um, have some common questions about how to use the app. Um, or maybe you don't, you've never heard of Pattern Keeper and you just want to know what it does. Um, this is a great, like I said, place to get that information from. So, yes, um, on the main page, um, it kind of, you know, explains what the app does and um, all that sort of stuff. You can view your whole chart um, without any page breaks, that, which is a huge deal um, if you're doing um, a bunch of full coverage stuff. Um, you can highlight all the symbols um, so that you can see where all of that one color is used. Um, and then you can also mark off when you make stitches so that you know that, you know, that one's done and can kind of progress from there. So they are working on an iOS version. However, there is no way to tell when that is going to come out. Um, it's probably going to be a really long time because coding and developing an app is 
definitely a labor of love. Um, and they probably, Pattern Keeper for Android is a very, um, it, it, it works super well. So I can tell, you know, they put a lot of effort into making that app. So I'm sure they're gonna put the same love and care into the iOS version, um, which means that it'll probably take a little longer than we expect. But if you are, you know, interested, you can definitely put your email in there um, so that you will get an email from the Pattern Keeper developers when they have updates on the iOS version. But for now, this is an option. This uh, Using the Android emulator is a good option uh, to use while you're waiting if you don't, like I said, want to buy another tablet. Um, and then they have a little blurb about, you know, people that are supported designers, all the heaven and earth design charts, um, paying free crafts, charting creations, artistry, and lots of others. Um, if you purchase patterns on Etsy, I know some people will specifically say this is pattern keeper compatible. But honestly, I just... I just try any chart that I have, I just try to see if it if Pattern Keeper will accept it. If it will, great. If not, that's okay too. But I mainly like to use it for my full coverage piece, Sweetheart Campfire. Um, Pattern Keeper is $9. Um, I'm pretty sure when you download it, you can use it for a week for free. Um, but yeah, I think that $9 is definitely worth it, especially since it's not a subscription. So like I said, it lets you view your whole chart with no page breaks it has some you know lets you search for symbols and it has a great infographic here on how that works and then you can mark off the stitches as you stitch them um so basically the best or when i was trying to make this work i kind of came and was doing some investigating on the pattern keeper website so i went to their faq page and underneath the part where it says install right here at the top this question right here, is there a desktop version of Pattern Keeper? That's what I was like, ooh, this is this is me. <laughs> and the sad answer is no, there's not a desktop version. But you can use an Android emulator. And so that's where my life changed because I was like, this is great. I don't have to buy another tablet. So there are two options here, Bluestacks and Big Knox. Um, I personally use Bluestacks. I can't tell you why. I think it's because it's the first one on the list. <laughs> I did do some research and according to a very in-depth article that I found on the internet, <laughs> um, they're basically the same. Uh, the only difference is that Bluestacks has been around longer and that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, but you can just install this um, emulator and it will basically, the, applica this, the application Bluestacks will act as an Android tablet on your computer and then you can download the app from the Google Play Store. So I will have Bluestacks um, linked in the description because that's what I use. Um, but yeah, you can just go to their website. Um, I don't know if you pull this up on a Windows machine, if it will automatically have the Windows version ready for you because your computer is smart enough to know what machine you're using the internet on. <laughs> so for me, I'm on a Mac device, so it's showing me the iOS uh, version of Bluestacks. So if you click on download, it's going to put, you know, this fancy little arrow here saying, look, this is where it's installing, or this is where it's downloading. And then once it's done loading, there's this little window is gonna pop up that says Bluestacks installer and has a little picture of what the application looks like. And then I am not gonna do this because I already have Bluestacks on my computer, but if you double click this, then there'll be a loading bar. It'll install the application on your uh, device. And then it'll probably say, hey, you downloaded this from the internet. Do you trust it? And I'm gonna say yes, because you know I told it to do that. <laughs> and just a, I guess a FYI, I haven't had any issues. Um, with like a virus or anything, um, but yeah. So if you double click on that, it will fully install the application on your computer. Um, I guess just a little side note, uh, these emulators were designed to play video games, um, like I guess to play mobile games on your computer. So that's what these emulators are really gonna push at you as far as like advertisements go. Um, so when you first open Bluestacks, it's actually gonna, um, show you this page like where you can download a bunch of different um games that are you that are typically mobile games 
So when I first downloaded this, I was kind of confused on how to use it. And so I went up here to search and I searched Pattern Keeper, nothing came up and I was really confused. Um, but don't worry, this is not where you wanna search for Pattern Keeper because this is just their game library. Um, but if you go up to the top, there is gonna be a little tab that shows up that says My Apps. And that is the actual like Android emulator part. So I'm actually gonna make my screen big here so that we don't have to see that annoying bouncing arrow in the corner. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as you might can tell, this looks just like a screen on an Android tablet would. Um, so I am a Apple person, so I'm not like super familiar with all the different Android things, um, but Obviously, it is just a tablet, so um, nothing too difficult to figure out. Um, as you can see, I do have a couple apps downloaded here, including Pattern Keeper. Um, I do highly recommend downloading Gmail um, if you have a Gmail account or whatever email account you use, because that is how I get the patterns onto the emulator um, so that I can put them into Pattern Keeper. So, but before you can even do that, you need to go to the Play Store. So you just click on the Play Store icon, just like you would tap it on a screen. And it, you know, looks just like the Play Store would on it, like I said, an Android device. So you can come in here, you can type in Pattern Keeper. Um, it's gonna show you the app. You can purchase it, download it, whatever. Um, obviously I already have it downloaded. So I'm just gonna go back to the homepage here and click on Pattern Keeper. And it's gonna open it up, just like I have a, um, tablet. So as you can see, I do have a few patterns in here. Um, most of them are different iterations of the Haunted Library style. Um, but the one I mainly use is um, Sweetheart Campfire because it is my full coverage piece. And so honestly, I don't think I would even stitch that if I did not have Pattern Keeper because it just makes it so much easier. Um, but if you don't have any patterns here, you're going to click on this plus button in the corner and then it'll prompt you, it'll show you like a recent file section and then you can, um, usually when you download a file from your Gmail, um, it will pop up in that recents and then you can just click on that and it will upload it into Pattern Keeper. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too many details about how to upload a pattern into this app because Pattern Keeper themselves actually has a um, channel where they kind of have a few videos on how to do some things. So I will also link that channel down below so that you can reference their videos um, if you get stumped using the actual application. So, but yeah, um, I will go in here and just kind of briefly show you, I guess, what it kind of looks like. So I have it zoomed out all the way right now so you can see um, how much progress I have versus, you know, how much I have left to go, which is quite a lot. <laughs> Um, all of that green there is actually this color right here, 317. Um, right now it's on move mode, so I can, um, if I use my trackpad to zoom in, um, I can, you know, drag and drag the pattern around to wherever I need to be looking. Um, side note, if you are using a mouse and you scroll with the scroll wheel, it's only going to move you up and down. It's not going to zoom you in, zoom you out, or anything like that. Um, I do have a trackpad on my laptop, and so that pretty much makes it very similar to the gestures that you would use on a touch screen, like pinching and to zoom, and um, or I guess you know, spreading your fingers out to zoom and pinching to zoom out, and then also you know moving the whole thing around and whatnot, and obviously you can still click with the trackpad too. So. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to zoom in really close onto an area, probably right here because there's lots going on. So if I go to the magnifying glass, that is where I can select a symbol and it'll highlight all of that symbol. So like if I click on this solid circle, um, all of these solid circles are highlighted now. And so when I'm stitching with that color, I don't have to worry about the other symbols because the ones I need to be focusing on are highlighted in green. And you, of course, can change those colors using this setting wheel up here. Um, but yeah, I just left it as green because I think that's the standard. Um, another thing, so you can leave it um, highlighted on that color. When you click on the little pin up here, it lets you actually like select um, stitches. And then you can click the check mark to say that you stitched it. Um, if I click on, so like this one right here, I already stitched it. If I click on that, 
little frog icon shows up. So if I if I said I stitched it on here, but I really didn't, or if I frogged it on my project, then I can frog it in Pattern Keeper. Um, another thing, if you want to, if you're into parking your threads, um, that's what all these blue half squares are. Um, so I have mine set up where if I double click it, it'll park it. Um, that is a setting that you can select in the setting. I think that's per project, not per like the whole thing. So, um, yeah, shortcuts, such shortcuts for double click. So you can tell it, um, there's lots of different options in there. So like I said, I'm not going to go too deep into any of that because Pattern Keeper does have their own videos. Um, kind of explaining some of those um, capabilities. So um, I think this might be it for, sh you know, showing you how to get Pattern Keeper on your computer. Um, I, this has been a lifesaver for me. Um, I've been super happy with it. Um, I don't really have a problem with stitching at my desk um, to use Pattern Keeper because like I said, usually I'm stitching a big project anyway and I need all my floss laid out. And whatnot um, but yeah if you're totally cool with not uh, having a tablet to use this app then I highly recommend downloading a, an Android emulator for your computer so that you can get in on that sweet sweet pattern keeper action <laughs> um, so yeah um, let me know if you have any questions uh, I'll do my very best to help you out and if you download this and, you know, if, if this video helped you in any way, um, you can, you know, leave me a comment. You can tag me on Instagram. Um, I would love to chat with you about it. So I think that's going to be it for now. Um, and I will see you next time. <laughs>